Welcome to the Nativo Shalom Shir. Everybody's busy getting ready for Pesach. And I have to remind everybody that the, the appropriate blessing for going into Pesach, most people say, Chag kosher v'sameach, a uh, kosher and happy Pesach. Sometimes we get so lost in the preparations for Pesach that we forget that it's a Chag and we have to be with Sameach. So I like to say Chag Sameach V'Kashir. We know everybody's going to do what they have to do to bring, have a kosher house, have a kosher for Pesach. But don't, don't get lost in the process and forget that we have to be with Simcha because that's, that's the key. I'm going to talk about the one aspect of the Seder. Uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, B'dikas Chumetz. B'dikas Chumetz is, is Thursday night. And all I will say about B'dikas Chumetz is that, remember that the real Chumetz is the Chumetz Belev, the, the Yetzir Hora that you have to get out of you. Um, obviously, you have to get the, the, all Chumetz out of the house as well, but get it out of, out of you yourself. But that's all I'm going to say about that. In the Haggadah, there's a famous story about the great Chachamim who were sitting in B'nai Brak. And it says, They were talking, these great sages were retelling the story of the Exodus from Egypt all night long, so much so that the Haggadah says, at Shabbat Tamidayim, when Elam to their students came and said to them, "Rabbi Seinu, Ibi Azman Kriyshma Shoshachlis, it's already dawn. The day is already broken. The night of the Seder is over. It's time to say Shema in the morning." They were so engrossed, and the question is, why? I mean, these are the greatest sages of the time. Certainly, they knew uh, in and out all of the ramifications of uh, the Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, the Exodus from Egypt, why all this time spending talking about Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim? And let's, let's look at what the Nativo Shalom says about this. He says, he quotes the, uh, uh, He quotes, I don't know what this, I forgot where this is from. Uh, if we're all wise men, if we're all men of understanding, if we're all men of understanding, it's the mitzvah upon us to tell the, the story of, of Mitzrayim. It says, the Talmud says, whoever spends a spends a lot of time going over the exodus from Egypt, but see us that person is praised. So Timo Shalom says, Yesh levayar ve'inyan zeh shal sipur yitzhi us mitzrayim, mahi panimios ha-mitzvah. What is the, the inner aspect of this mitzvah? Mokein, maha miyuchaj ve-mitzvah zeh, what is unique about this mitzvah of this saying over the Exodus from Egypt, what is unique about this, this mitzvah, that whoever does it over and over again, says more and more about it, talks more and more about the uh, Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, he is praised. And he says, because we don't find that with other mitzvahs, other commandments that we were commanded to do. I should take a kashavakaimin, also, once you fulfill the mitzvah, that's it. You've done what you're supposed to do. There's no, there's no commandment, nothing that says you should uh, keep repeating them. Uh, for example, it says, Kadugma is Krishma. You have to recite the Shema. You read it once. 
and you're Yotze. You fulfill the obligation. You don't read it over and over and over and over again. Oh, shofar. You're the shofar. You have a certain set number of, of sounds to hear, but you don't keep going over and over and over again. Lula, the same thing. Ukazayas matzah, eating the, the matzah on, on Pesach. Uh, you eat the mitzvah is to eat the kazayas of matzah, the minimum amount of matzah. Um, and, and you don't have to keep repeating that. You can eat all the matzah you want, but it's not a mitzvah to keep eating matzah. You have to eat the minimum amount of matzah. So all these things, you do them, and, and that's it. Masha'en Cain, Masha'en Ba'am Inyan Lachzor Lachayim Od Va'od Pamim. There's no aspect of requiring you to go over and over and over again do the same things again many times. Da'am Inyan Matzias Mitzrayim. It says also with the, the whole aspect of getting out of Egypt. Atzma, yesh mitzvah v'chayom, it's a mitzvah every day. We, we, the Torah tells us, Laban Tizkor, Shom Tzayis Chimera, Tzvitzrayim, Kal Yimei Chayecha. We say that, we say the mitzvah of uh, remembering Egypt every day, but we do it during that particular prayer, during the Shema, we do that. And also, we fulfill this mitzvah by remembering it by saying it one time in Shema that we have to remember the Exodus from Egypt. Nothing about that says if you do it a lot, you're going to be praised. So why specifically is the, the mitzvah of telling of Yitzhiya Mitzrayim on the Seder night uh, on the 15th of Nisan, why does it say whoever spends a lot of time talking about it is praised? The Rambam writes, the mitzvah is designation mitzvah, which is begat to levincha. That's what the Torah tells us. The Torah tells us, You should tell to your son on that day. There's a mitzvah to tell your children, to make known to your children, even if they didn't ask a question. Means that according to the ability of the son of the child to understand, that's how the parent should tell him about him or her about the Exodus from Egypt. Ketzai, what does that mean? For example, he says, if it's a very small child, or tipesh, or a foolish child, don't have much much education. Omer Lob, you should say to him, Bani, my son, my child, Kulanu Hayinu Avadim, we were all slaves. Kamo Shiv Chazu, like this maid that's waiting on us. O Kamo Evet Zeh, or like this servant who's waiting on us. The Mitzrayim in Egypt. Uvalaila Hazeh, and on this night, God redeemed us and took us out into freedom. Very, very simple. You know, very simple telling of, of what the story was about. That's to the, the, the one who doesn't have much understanding. If the son was, uh, was, a, was an adult uh, or was a wise person, Modia ma sh'ira, Lord of Israel, you tell what happened to us in Egypt, the Nisim Shinasu Laru Aide Moshe Rabbeinu, and the miracles that happened to us uh, through uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, Hakol Lafidato Shalbein, according to his level of understanding. Okay. 
Hadkan. So that's, that's what the Rambam is saying. Mashma, we see from these words, that the commandment of telling it to your child, to your son, that mitzvah of the father telling the son, telling the child about the story of the exodus from Egypt applies even if the son is greater in knowledge and wisdom than the father. You would think that if the son is greater in wisdom and knowledge than the, the father, the son would tell the father. No, the Torah tells us specifically, the father has to tell the son. Shekosav, the tzarich laudia lechal ben, the fidato b'havadasu. Because it's written that you have to make known to every child according to his uh, understanding and his knowledge. Obviously, I've, I've used I've used the language of the father and son because that's that's what's what's written here. I'm translating that, but obviously, uh, if there's no father around, uh, the mother and the child, whether the child's a boy or a girl, same the same mitzvah would apply. Lechora. Therefore, Tzorech Bir, we have to understand, my inyelashis yesh lesapir v'tzirish v'shrayim leven kazeh v'sha she'en la'av klal ma'lachadesh lo. We have to understand, what is it about this mitzvah of telling Yitzhiz v'shrayim, even if the father has nothing new to tell him? Kavokein, yesh lahavin, lachin, ba'etzem ha-mitzvah, he has to uh, I think I'm reading it wrong, sorry. That's a mitzvah, you have to make sure he understands the, the root of that mitzvah and of what does that mean? <coughs> Excuse me. She even, even in the time. And he can't, the father can't give anything new over to the, to the son. He can't give anything new other than what he gave last year. He has only the same thing. Why, why do we have to have this uh, telling uh, where you're repeating over and over again, even what you did last year? Okay. Therefore, Omer B'mama Ravi, in the Nativo Shalom's uh, portion on Pesach, he has different mamoros, and on the fourth one, he says the Pesach Ruchag Amuna. Pesach is the festival of Amuna, of belief in God. Leila Seder who bechinas Rosh Hashanah Amuna. The Seder night is like Rosh Hashanah of Amuna. It's the headquarters of Amuna. The whole purpose is to strengthen the amuna of the of the Jew on this on this night. Yesh lomer the mitzvos v'gat lavicha kivat haTorah haKodesh koach iloi miyuchad. It is said that the mitzvah of telling over to your child uh, the Torah. That, that the Torah tells us that you have koach iloi a unique power from above, to increase the feeling of amuna. In other words, uh, you, you are given this power as you're telling the story to to pass pass on the amuna to the child. Hashem helps you with that. When the father is telling the story of Yitzhak Mitzrayim to his son, when the father is telling it, he is transmitting to his own son that which he, the father, heard from his own father, from his own grandfather, from his own Rebbe. Shehem 
Shomu gam kin as sipur as atzmo avoseihem raboseihem, because they certainly heard this this story with Sis Mitzrayim from their fathers, from their rabbis. Even if it skipped some generations, if you go back enough generations, I'm sure you'll find someone in your generation who was telling this story every night, every every Seder night. And go back, recognizing that this was told father to child, mother to child, all the way back to Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. The, the exodus of Egypt, the very exodus from Egypt, when the child would ask, what's this about? When the parents would tell the child what's going on. And through this, they, they become united in their emuna and their belief in God, their trust in God. Now, with the chain, the entire chain of the generations, shall am Yisrael of the people of Israel until going back until the actual exodus from Egypt of that generation. And this, this whole thing is a great uh, segula, a great help to help root Muna within you. And the time that is best fitting for this, the, the best time to do this is when matzah and mora are sitting before you, which means at the Seder. That is the time that is fitting to pass on the, the, the roots of Amuna from father to son, father to children. Even if the son is a great, is wiser than the father, and even if the father doesn't tell him anything new. Or even if he already told him the story of Exodus from Egypt. Mitzvah is on the the father to tell the son about the exodus. This power from above that enables you to strengthen your, your faith, to have it take root within you. Uh, is based on that which you hear from your father. Uh, it's it's the holy book of Igarta to your to your son, Bulashan Ham to to uh, it, it's a language of covering, covering uh, covering, making an environment that, that's that you can feel you're covered with with the events, the nisim, and he flows to the miracles, the wonders that took place in Mitzrayim. Kamosh Mitargim that perish from Shehu as Yosef bin Abor. They, uh, it says they, they pulled Yosef from the well. Uh, meaning they pulled him from the well, uh, but it was it, it was an over-encompassing moment. Uh, this provides this mitzvah of telling over his Yisrael provides a, a, a basis of continuing Amuna and, and strengthening the Amuna. By a safe for all of Yisrael, it says, Babir Hagada Yochol Me Rosh Chodesh, where it says, From Rosh Chodesh, you can start this. Talmud Lomar, Ba'avur Zeh. 
because of this, well, at the time that there is matzah and more sitting before you. It's written in this language. This night of Pesach, this night of the Seder, or the light of, of intelligence of your mind, of your reasoning is revealed. The truth and the belief and this night uh, brings this, this light of Amuna over all of B'nai Yisrael. Because could she see for live no, when you tell this to your child, the words of the father will go into the heart and he'll believe with all of his heart. The Rambam Kasuf, the Rambam writes, Hi Dina, the call me shallow Omar Shalosh Devorim Elu, Balil Khamisha Asr, Lo Yatsi de Khavasu. He says, anybody who doesn't say these three things on the 15th of Nisan, meaning at the Seder night, hasn't fulfilled his obligation. Elu, Hain, and what are the three things? Hesach Matza Umor. And so on. The Hukas Sipurius is Pasram. He said that's where it's found. Umashma. And obviously, uh, it's not saying that you haven't fulfilled the basic obligation of eating eating matzah together with uh, with moror. Uh, it's, it's not saying that's not what the Rambam is saying. What what is he saying? He says. It's not saying that. The Hain Kasim, the Kriya Sefer Shamira Gimel Devorim, Shlosh Devorim Elu, he chalek me misfo Sibriya Sibriya He says, what is, what is the meaning that they should be, you should, you haven't fulfilled the mitzvah unless you have matzah and moror before you. It means not that the matzah and moror are there, that you're fulfilling the mitzvah with that. It's, it's a given that you're fulfilling that mitzvah because you're eating the matzah, you're eating the more, you're doing those things. But you have to explain. And he got to Levincha, explain to your, to your children, why are we eating the matzah? Why are we eating the more? Why are we doing these things? Uh, that, that's what it means. And that's the mitzvah of, of the Sipur, of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. And then by, by doing that, Oh, it comes from a Rambam. The Rambam says, "Hold over to Rachayav Adam Nero." Says, "Atzmo kilu who atzmo yasev atzmo b'shiba mitzrayim." The Rambam says that everybody at the seder must think and must feel that I myself just got out of the slavery of Egypt, and that's why before I was talking about the shalshelish, this chain going back from father to son, grandfather to father to son, et cetera, all the way back to Yitzhiz Mitzrayim, so that you will feel that you were there, that you just got out of Mitzrayim yourself. The Gamzev Dayuk, a priest safer, it says in that book, it says, that's, that's included in the mitzvah of telling about the Exodus. The Indian Hashrash Amuna Aydevi God to Levinka. By telling this to your child, by explaining the miracles that happened, by explaining the fact that God alone brought us out of Egypt, by explaining the fact that it didn't matter whether we were worthy or not worthy of coming out of Egypt, we were the chosen people by God, and God took us out without any question as to what our worth was or wasn't. Uh, God did these miracles for us, clear miracles, delineating what was done to the Egyptians from the safety of what was not done to the Jews, and vice versa, what was done to the Jewish people 
in order to get them out of the triumph. Telling those things, all those things to make you feel that I myself just got out of out of Egypt. And that's and not to not to not to let him think let anybody not to let your child think that this whole thing about the story of Egypt is only a story that happened three thousand years ago. It's pretty hard to relate to that three thousand years ago. So Ella Inyan Nitzchi. The story of which he is described is eternal. Which renews itself every single year. And it renews itself in many ways. The word Mitzrayim comes from the word Matsar, which is narrow. We're all in our narrow, conflicted spaces, uh, condensed spaces, uh, narrowness of our lives sometimes, difficulties in our lives. And we, we think that you know, where do I go from here? There's only one place to go, ask Hashem. And just as Hashem did miracles for uh, us in Mitzrayim, so too, the story is today. It's not, we have to think, that's why it says, you have to consider as if you yourself just came out of Mitzrayim. Bine Isa, Shakurish for time is called Torah. The Chazal teach us that Hashem himself fulfilled all the Torah. So too, the son asks and pleads with God, that he shall help all of us fulfill this mitzvah of telling our children. And the strength and the root of Amuna, of Faith and belief in God on this night. The little bit of, of discussion that you have on the Seder night about Yisus Mitzrayim, just the, the mere touching of that to your to your to your neshama, to your intellect, will increase your ability during the whole year to have that amuna. Just a little drop, a little drop, and then that little drop will spread through the through the year and give you the ability to access Amuna by thinking of its Mitzrayim. We can't go no in Mitzrayim Bahashi And we see that the aspect of Tsis Mitzrayim is is very worthy. As we see these, as I started with this sentence from the Agara. These great sages all night long were talking about this. Lisa, the Zohar Kodesh, the Holy Zohar says, Shomim Kodum Hagoda, we say before the Hagoda, Eich Kodesh Borchu Chad Bahai Sipur. How is Hashem, how do we, how does Hashem unite with us in this story? Because on this night, Hashem brings down Amuna that we can acquire for the entire year. And the more that one increases his Amuna by telling the story of Jesus Mitzrayim, that's where the praise comes in. That means that's why he's, that's why he's praised. And uh, this is explained by, by an instant, a Misa that happened to the Baal Shem Tov. Baal Shem Tov, I'll call it a few later, Al-Ish Kafri. There was a, a man from a small village. Shamirat Haggadah Shalom, Malayal HaSeder, who said the Haggadah in the night of the Seder. Misa Hashuva Kamirat Haggadah Shal Baal Shem Tov the way he said it was as, as hushu, as worthy as that which the Baal Shem Tov himself said. And the Baal Shem Tov went to see what are the masim of this person that made his saying the Haggadah so great. So he asked him, 
No, I said, well, I love Seder. What did you do on Seder night? The Sipra Lohosu Kafri, the villager, explained to him, Shein Yudeh Bechlal, Mashat Sorich, I don't know at all. I don't know at all what I'm supposed to do the night of the Seder. Ella, but Kishibab, basic nexus, when I came back from Shul, I basically to my house, this Ragesh Liba Bioter, I was filled with great emotion. But love with Nargas Ila, I was filled with a, a, an intensity like a flame from above. The sea poor live and they biased, and I told my family. Following story, I said, Shohoya Melech Paro Yimachshimo. There was a king named Paro whose name shall be blotted out. So Asalon of Soros Rabos, he did cause great troubles to the Jewish people, to us. Our Kodesh Baruch Aslan and God helped us. Lotsiyan Misham, and so on. He took us out of there, and so on. So I was thankful to God up at this point. And I drank a glass of wine. I drank one glass of wine. And after that, Omar, I said again, Omar Shu, I said again, there was this king in Egypt, a his name was Paro, but his name be blotted out, who causes great difficulties, and God saved us and brought us out of there. With each to Ode Kosha, and I drank another glass of wine. Machin Halan, so on, through the four glasses of wine. A Seder Hazen Shoeba Muna Hazaka. This Seder was with great. Belief and trust in God and great strength. These rocks show some great feelings. Rabba, great feelings. Asaroshem, his great feelings, a simple Jew, made an impression, a great impression in the heavens. I knew, therefore, Shabbat Bregos del Seder, the levels of the Seder night, Toilui Bebehiro Shamuna are dependent on the clarity of your amuna. Since your amuna uh, was in, with such clarity, since his amuna, I'm sorry, his amuna was with such clarity, his seder was uh, considered among the greatest. What is the Baal Shem Tov saying? What is the Tivot Shalom saying? That the whole purpose of telling the story, it's of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, the whole purpose of it is to pass on from generation and to connect to previous generations who were doing this, the door of a door, from the time of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim till now. So as you connect to the generation, you get to that generation and you can feel truly that it's as if you yourself came out of came out of Egypt. And when you're saying it doesn't matter what your level of, of knowledge is, when you are saying the words of the Seder, saying the story of the Seder, even in its simplest form, there was a king, he was wicked, God saved us. Even in the most simplest form, if you say it with, with Kavana, with Amuna. Hashem will give you the amuna that is destined to come from there. Hadkan. That's the Tivo Shalom on, uh, on this, this little aspect. Uh, just one little addition. The, the Haggadah goes on to say in the very next paragraph when these, these Chachomir are sitting down, Amr Rabbi Elezer ben Azariah, Rabbi Elezer ben Azariah said, I'm like a 70 year old person. I never understood what it meant to say, to remember the exodus from Egypt at night. When Rabbi Lazar says he was like a person of 70, 
He was only 18 years old, but he was just appointed to head, to head the, uh, the yeshiva there, the Sanhedrin. He was appointed as the head, and a miracle happened that he overnight, because of the appointment and people would look up to somebody with, uh, with white hair, more than just an 18 year old kid, he, he grew, his beard turned white. He looked like a, a 70 year old man. But he, he said, he didn't understand to what, what Ben Zoma was saying until he explained the months, call you may hayachi, should remember the days, the exodus from Egypt, all the days of your life. And understood the definition of call you may hayecha. The mechayacha is the days, call is the nights, and the chachamim said, call the days, the, the days of your life refer to this life, and the added word call refers to the time of Mashiach. So he was able to understand that from the Torah, we are commanded to remember this. I mean, it seems was trying day and night. And because of that, because of the importance of that, it's the basis, the basis of the Seder, the basis of Pesach is the Yabuna in God, that God will always be there. Okay, any, any questions before I stop the recording? All right, thank you all for listening. I'm stopping the recording in a moment.